Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Today I've got a food shopping haul for you. I've just got a little bit. I didn't spend that much. I went to Aldi, I think I spent like 38 pounds, but Sky is wearing eight pounds of it. And I also got a cute little toy. So I probably only spent just over 20 pounds on food. And then I also have some stuff from the range. I went there today, there's one near Aldi and uh, I got some Christmas decorations for my tree because my tree came yesterday. I got a balsam hill tree and I can't, I'm so excited. It's much bigger than my old tree so I needed a couple more decorations. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Sky also got herself some stuff from Aldi which she's put out here. She put all this stuff out for me. She's so sweet. So I will share it with you guys. Review time. Here we are. As I said, Sky set it all out for me it's just a good resort I wasn't going to do a haul and then she set it all out like this and it was so lovely I was like let me get my camera <laughs> but we'll start off over here I've got some sweet potatoes these are some Christmas star shaped sour cream and chai flavour pretzels that's a lot of writing in it <laughs> no just me and then some wonky carrots oh I've got the hiccups so bad today <laughs> wonky carrots and then these are just a bag of oranges I got this little popcorn, it was at the till. I thought for Sky she could take it. She works in the stables once a week, so I thought she could take it and, you know, as a little snack. And then two cartons of tomato passata. And Sky bought this, she bought wrapping paper, and she also bought these Christmas cards. I don't know what she's gonna do with them. She says she's going to do something. So we shall see. <laughs> And then I got two tins of black beans, two tins of green lentils, and then our guy that's having an operation um, on his mouth and he's not going to be able to eat um, like solid food. So he, his favourite is tomato soup. So he got a couple of tins of tomato soup and then he's going to have things like porridge, homemade soup. He, he only really likes tomato soup so I might make them some it's pretty easy to make um, but we've got tomato soup, porridge, noodles then I got five of these milk chocolates these are just the everyday essential ones they're 30 pence because I have been asked by my church we have a thing called Release Society which is where all the women it's like a women's group in the church and the dudes have their own one, kids have their own one, young women have their own one, young men. Um, but we are doing a Christmas night over Zoom, <laughs> unfortunately not in person. And I was asked if I would like to cook something Christmassy. So I'm going to be making Christmas fudge. I don't have a long time to show it and I'll have one like, here's one I prepared earlier, Blue Peter style. Um, so I got some, some of this just so we can have a practice run. <laughs> and then some easy cook brown rice. And I showed you the cards already. And then I've seen these, look. These are little festive wooden Russian dolls. They're like nesting dolls. And these ones are nativity characters or they had like a more whimsical one like Santa and elves. But I thought these were so cute for my kids. My kids are like old, but they all enjoy playing with these. And then decoration wise from the range. I got two of these. I don't have any baubles on my tree, like, you know, like round bob. Well, that's not true. I maybe might have like a couple of glass ones, I think, with like stuff inside them, but I don't have like red baubles, gold baubles. My tree, this is the theme of my tree, and every year I buy some more decorations. So I don't have any baubles, as I said, I have more like one off pieces like this which can be expensive because obviously these are not that cheap to buy as opposed to like a big pack of baubles but anyway the range is the best place for these decorations their prices are so good so i got two of these look at these they are just so cute and a lot of the stuff they had was the same as last year so i don't really want any stuff that's the same um but these are little birds robins and look, we've got the wood. Look, oh, it's so cute. And these ones were £1.29 each. So I got two of them. And then these little sleighs were 89 pence. Wooden sleds, sleighs. What would you call it? A sledge? I don't know. <laughs> and it's like fluffy. Oh, they're so cute for 89 pence. 
And then I actually have some of these already, but I got one more. And these ones, I think these ones are 99. Yep, 99 pence. And I think these are more door hangers. Um, you know, like hang on door handles, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and then this one was only 59 pence. And it's just, you could have it that way or that way. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. You guys are just looking at bloodiness. Sorry. <laughs> but I thought that was good for 59 pence. And then this one is 89 pence and it's just a white star with a little heart and I like all the kind of hessian and jute, 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 um, but I've not seen that one before, I've not seen that one before or these ones. And then this, these ones are new, look at the little reindeers and these ones were, where were you? You're this price, uh, 99 pence for these as well, I thought that was a great price for them and then some of these little bells these are new this year as well these were 89 pence so that's all i got from here the boys also got themselves some decorations with the last of their pocket money from last month and they got little white polar bears and little white um penguins to put on their tree they were so cute but back to aldi i got some granny smith apples open picked biscuits he got these chocolate chip cookies some easy peelers bananas onions a cucumber and then what do we have here some seedless mixed grapes some raspberries some fresh orange and then i said get some yogurts they got coconut and vanilla and strawberries the greek ones and then every time i go i just try and pick up a little pack of pack pack of batteries because everyone just takes batteries i probably should try and see about getting some rechargeable ones they're still a thing aren't they? Um, and then yesterday, let me show you, I got this delivered. <laughs> um, this is a 25 kilo bag of Marquis potatoes, which I've never tried that variety before. Um, and I ordered them online <laughs> from a farm called The Potato Guys. And I think they're based like Edinburgh way, but they deliver all the way across the central belt. They don't go as far as like Ayrshire, they kind of stop there. Um, like Glasgow kind of side um, but they don't go as far into Ayrshire and they go right down to the borders as well 15 pounds for 25 kilos including the delivery so we shall see if uh, if they're good and then this was kind of just like a little fill-in haul I have a lot of stuff in my freezers still this is my kitchen freezer um, it's looking a little bare actually in my opinion <laughs> <laughs> but my chest freezer, I have a chest freezer in my cupboard and that thing is, is huge So and it's filled to the gunnels so I don't really need a whole lot of stuff like that but anyway guys that is my haul I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up oh wait I'll get Sky to show you her jumper here is Sky's festive jumper she got a lady small and it was $7.99 and she's going to model it for you that's lovely thank you Sky you're the best. Now, you want to take that off so I can wash it? Yes, she's not happy about that. <laughs> she's trying it on for size, but it fits good, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. And I don't know if, what size they've got up to in the kids' ones, but this guy's just pretty much an adult now, eh? What are you boys doing out here? Dancing. Mm. And there's our Christmas tree just waiting to go up. But yeah, guys, that's our video done. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you at my next one. Bye.